In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four steps growth slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first steps comes, you can see here I've just put the first steps, first step as an idea where uh, the idea can be converted into a different thing. So let me just show you. So I've just put the, the bulb icon here and you can replace the text here and add more detailed text. And when I click the idea converts and it grows into a small plant, you can see here this is the step one. Uh, with the detailed text and then in the step two it grows further you can see here this is the step two and the step three it goes more bigger and you can see some small fruits also so this is very good a uh, slide to show the growth of the company or of your work or whatever you feel better and if you like to add more uh, steps also you can increase it and you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and you can support my channel by watching the advertisement shown on this video for 30 seconds or clicking the advertiser link or if you like to uh, donate it you can kindly do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section and i have used office 2019 version to do it if you are using the older versions like 2007 and 2010 then some features might not be available so i highly recommend you to use the latest version of powerpoint so let's start the tutorial add a new slide then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to draw the oval shape just draw the holding by shift key so that you get a perfect circle then shape outline make it no outline i'm going to put it in the center now I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D to duplicate and you can increase the size by holding the Ctrl Shift together. You can see here maybe this much size and this shape I'm just going to give some darker colors. I'll bring it here and then send this to back and this one I'm just going to fill with some light color here. You can see here any color or you can just choose a white color also. And if you want, you can just give some shadow effect. So I'm just going to press Ctrl D for this shape fill. I'm going to make it black. Then right mouse click, go to format shape, increase the transparency level, maybe 70 to 80 percent. And under the soft adjust, increase the size. You can see here. And if you want, you can just increase the size further. And then I'm just going to paste it here and select the white one and bring to front. Okay, so like this, you can just add some shadow effect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add one more shape here. For that, I'm going to duplicate this, press Ctrl D, and I'm going to fill this with a brown color. Then go to insert shapes. I'm going to select one rectangle and only this part only I want to keep and the rest I need to delete it. So I'm going to select this and hold the shift key, select this merge shape and I can just subtract it and then I'll just bring it here. You can see here something like this exactly here. Now, if you want to add one more also, I can just duplicate one more, you know, round shape on the top. So I'm just going to select oval shape, just draw one oval by holding the shift key. You can see here exactly put it in the center and then I'm going to select all of these merge shape. I can just say fragment also and only this part I can take fill with the same color no outline and i'm just going to put it here and make sure it is properly aligned in the center and let me just delete these things so once we are done with this what i'm going to do is i'm just going to press ctrl g or first select ctrl a okay press ctrl a to select all ctrl g to uh, group it and then hold the ctrl shift key together and just drag it one here you can see here again hold the control shift drag it and drop it here and again control d sorry control shift together drag and drop so likewise i have just created four uh, shapes and then go select all go to format you can just say align i'm just going to distribute horizontally okay so it's equal spaces has been come in the in between so let me just go to view and remove the guides now it's time to add the uh, the plants or trees or whatever you uh, want to design here you can just add it here so this one i'm just going to add a bulb uh, for that i can go to just insert icons and i can find the bulbs here you can see here this one also or i can just go down and then uh, i saw it somewhere 
so here you can see this also i can just use which is under process and click insert and i can just put it here all right and then i'm just going to fill this with some green color so this is the first one the idea and then you know with this idea the plant or tree or whatever it grows for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select a triangle draw a small triangle here you can see here like this shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give the same green color and select this we can just bring to front also or i can just send let me just ungroup this so that it will have easy for me to draw it so let me just bring to front and then i'm going to draw some uh, the leaves for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the uh, oval shape draw the oval shape something like this let me just zoom in for you and shape outline make it no outline then select this right mouse click edit point and you can see this one the top one i'm just going to drag this inside you can see here it has to come something like this all right then i'm going to uh, cut this into two so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering exactly half of the leaf and then i'm going to select the leaf first hold the shift key select this one merge shape i can just fragment it okay so this part i'm going to delete it so it has become two let me just give some space here you can see here so one color i'm going to choose some light and another color i'm going to choose some dark color all right so it looks something like this then i'm going to select both of this press ctrl g to group it hold the shift key reduce the size okay so depending on your requirement you can reduce it uh, tilt it a little bit and place it here press ctrl d bring the other side tilt it the other way and place it here so this is my the first tree or the plant press ctrl d to duplicate this will come second here now i'm going to increase the size a little bit more you can see here because the plant is growing again select this and bring to front again i'm going to what i'm going to add some uh, uh, branches here so let me just duplicate this reduce the size i can just add one here press ctrl d tilt it or bend it and then you can just add here then i'm going to add the plants press ctrl d you can see here i'm just going to add a uh, leaf sorry i'm going to add the leaf so i'm just going to add one leaf here this side again the other side control d to duplicate and one more here and there you can just add it you can see here something like this and i'm going to add one more sorry let me just bend it so something like this you can see here so this is my second one now let's do the third one even a bigger plant so i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here increase the size further so depending on your requirement and then i'm just going to uh, select this and bring to front all right and then i'm going to select this one more the small branches here let me just zoom in for you and then if you want you can just give some a curve shape for that right mouse click edit point you can see here this point i'm just going to drag this side and for this i'm going to drag the other side you can see here so it looks something like this then i'm going to select it here and paste it press ctrl d rotate it or bend it i'm just going to add here again press ctrl d if you want you can just reduce the size a little bit and then like this you can just add it so let's zoom it and align it properly so that it will not be look you know something out of sync so we have to make sure that it is properly syncing so let me just yeah 
all right and once this is done now i'm going to add more leaves here just duplicate it start adding as much as you can so you can see here i'm just going to add more leaves just press ctrl d and keep on adding the leaves so i'm going to add the other side of the plant you can see here basically we are just showing the growth so the more the leaves the more the tree or the plant looks bigger you can see here press ctrl d let me just add it here ctrl d i'm going to add the other side and one i'll put it in the center at the top okay so like this add as many as you want all right so maybe this is this much now if i want if you want you can just add some kind of a fruits or flowers or something so i'm going to use some small oval shape you can see here shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to put some orange and then i'm just going to randomly add some orange uh you can see here something like this all right so the, our basic design is ready now it's time to add the options here so go to insert text box and i'm going to say for example step zero one let me just center a line i'm going to give the same color i'm going to choose the font or any font of your choice you can just choose it and exactly put it in the center press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here or you can just hold the ctrl shift and add it here so you don't need to worry about the alignment you can see here and then this is my step two this is the step three and this is the step four so if you have uh, more requirements you can just give equal space or less space and you can add one more also and once this is done go to insert text box and you can equals lorem within brackets i don't want this much long text let me just delete it i'm going to justify it go to the light color or maybe somewhat darker reduce the size i'm going to choose the same font roboto reduce the width and then just put it here press ctrl d to duplicate or you can just hold the ctrl shift key and then just add it one by one so you can see something like this and if you want you can just add some uh, arrows here so go to insert shapes select this one or draw a small arrow by holding the shift key and you can give the same color and you can increase the width of this you can see here and then you can give some dotted lines and then just place it here in the center you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate so just add one by one something like this all right so uh, with this we have completed the design and if you want to add some small animations you can add the animation effect to it